So what is up guys? It is day two of my solo crystal hunting trip in Arkansas. And I woke up this morning and it is just pouring rain. I uh, checked the weather and up here around all the crystal hunting areas, it kind of tapers off around 11 o'clock, which it's 10.50 right now. It's still raining off and on, not nearly as bad as what it was when I left Hot Springs, but I decided I would come out here and sit at Crystal Vista for a little bit, change into my mining clothes maybe, and see what the weather is looking like. And if it's just sparse rain, I might go ahead and go up there and see what I can do. If it's raining steady, then y'all will never see this and it won't matter. So, hopefully it's just sparse rain. Right now it's just sprinkling very lightly. I'm driving 40 miles an hour down this road and I mean, I got my windshield wipers on a light mist and it's barely even getting anything on the windshield, but two minutes ago it was pouring and I had to have the windshield wipers going 90 miles an hour so it's off and on it's definitely slowing down hopefully I'll be able to get up there to Crystal Vista with my new chisels that I just bought yesterday and do a little bit more hard rock mining find another pocket see what I can find and maybe go dig in the tailings piles and try to find some phantoms and hopefully things will work out I'd like to get up there and do something today I have to drive home this afternoon so I won't have all day but I'll have several hours if I go up there now would have been better had I been able to leave early this morning, but I didn't much fancy getting out and pouring rain and trying to hunt crystals because quite frankly, I don't care that much. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and put my mining clothes on, grabbed this old slicker out of my toolbox. It's an old work slicker. My good one is a, uh, covered in oil base so I didn't want to wear it this one kind of wore out as you can see it's got holes in it but it'd be better than nothing in case it does start raining so I'm gonna make my way up this long old trail get up there to the mining area the old tailings files and the rocks and uh, see what I can find if it starts pouring, then I guess I'll just make myself a tent. I don't know. Okay. So, that was a fun hike. I'd say it's every bit of a thousand feet. I may be wrong. I don't know. I don't care. It felt like a thousand or more feet. So, I'm at Crystal Vista. As you can see, there's tailings piles everywhere. So, last time I was here, I spent most of my time right down here. Matter of fact, literally right there, I think. It's hard to tell on this camera. And that was a good pocket there. I'm probably gonna end up there. But from a video or two I saw where they were finding the blue phantoms, they were down here a little ways so I'm gonna 
mosey my way down there, break my rake out, and see if I can't find anything like that. And if there's any of y'all that are familiar with this area and where the best place to look for the phantoms are, by all means, leave a comment. Tell me where for the next time I come back, because I do intend on uh, making this more of a regular thing for me. Okay, so I've settled on a spot here. It is that right there. Clearly somebody's been digging it. It's got a lot of nice rocks in it. It's got a lot of crystals actually, quartz and silica and all kinds of stuff all down in here. It is literally on the side of a tailings pile. And just to give you all an idea, just how steep the side of this thing is. See if we can find a decently round rock here. Oh. Yeah, you can't really tell. Trust me, it's steep. It's very steep. That's looking out level right there. You can't even see the ground. So, I certainly don't need to step back too far. But, anyway. I'm going to play in here and see what I can find. Maybe I'll find a blue fan. Maybe I'll just find some points. And then I'm probably going to go make my way over to the rock and do some hard rock mining here after a while. Uh, I'll check back in with y'all here in a little bit. I don't have a tripod. It's literally... The only way y'all can let y'all watch me dig is if I'm holding the phone with one hand and digging with the other. So we'll try. No guarantees. Won't look very good if I do. So with that being said, I'm going to get to digging and I'll check back with y'all if I find anything nice. All right. So I've been going for a little while now. I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, I don't know. Maybe about three songs on my Spotify, so give or take that. Uh, so what I'm doing is I just take my rake and I just kind of scrape it off there. And then I take my hand and I go through it and find little points like that. And then I just kind of, I kind of halfway clean them up and look at them not really hard because I don't have any way to wash them and I just kind of set them right there under my stuff in a pile and then I just kind of I'll sit here and go through all the tailings that I knocked off look and see what I might find in there I found several little things though already some of them look to be a little blue on the inside good points several good points I've already found probably the least efficient way that you could do this but I'm working with the tools that I got I did a few minutes ago as I was scraping I spotted that point crystal clear just a point no phantom in it I don't think anything like that it was right there in the wall uh, here's what I've pulled out so far. Not a whole lot, but I'll go through them all when I get somewhere where I can wash them. And we'll keep digging here and see if I can find anything really nice. Probably stay here for about another 30 minutes maybe an hour at the most and then i'm gonna go over there and hit the rocks because quite frankly i find that to be more fun to find the whole crystals in the pocket
out here literally in the middle of nowhere by yourself like there was one other truck here when i pulled in i've not seen that person for all i know they're three miles back hiking on the trails so i'm literally alone here so if something were to happen i'd be completely on my own screwed and there's not enough signal here to call for help so pay attention to what you're doing be careful use a little bit of common sense don't don't be silly don't dig yourself to where half your body is up underneath the hole like this and it collapses on top of you because there ain't no saving you at that point if that much dirt were to fall on you that's probably about 800 pounds of dirt or more you'd be dead there'd be no saving you so use your head All right, guys, I'm cashing it in over here at the tailings pile. I'm going to go over there to the hard rock and play in the rocks, see what I can accomplish over there. So here's what I found playing in this tailings pile. I mean, there's some, some pretty nice points. Got that. That. I think the biggest point is... Uh, can't tell if it's DT without cleaning that off, but I think it is. That looks like a point in itself right there. A few things like this that I believe are going to end up being clusters when I wash them. I'm not for sure though. Let's see. But that's what I found just that's an hour's worth of digging but the funniest part the absolute funniest part I was spending all that time down there looking for a blue phantom I stand up and I start setting up to uh, show y'all what I found and right there on the top of the ground there's a blue phantom Looks like the top is just a little bit chipped, but it's definitely a phantom. You can see it in there. You want to talk about being annoyed. All that work, digging in there, doing something that I don't particularly enjoy, but I wanted to find one of those phantoms, and I stand up, and there it is right there on the ground. But that's all right. It's getting a little dark right now. I'm afraid it's going to rain here in a few minutes. So I'm going to pack all this stuff up. Probably going to put these crystals in a pocket of my uh, backpack here. And uh, I'm going to head over to the hard rock. All right. So I just broke off that section right there. And uh, I wasn't really expecting anything. I thought it was just sandstone with a little small bit of matrix of quartz running through it. But uh, when I pulled the uh, the chunk out, there was a huge pocket in there. I uh, you can't really see. I wonder if I can flip the camera. No, let me pause this and flip the camera. You can see maybe there's a few crystals on that. That's the chunk of sandstone that come out. You can see the clay. For sure, you can see here there's a few crystals, but uh, this was underneath, and there's definitely crystals in that. So I'm about to pick all this clay apart 
I've already pulled out one little cluster out of it. That I can't tell what it is. Let's see if I can set this camera up somewhere where y'all can see as I, it's a brand new phone, I don't want to drop it. All right, yeah, y'all can see that. It's getting very dark. I'm afraid it's about to rain on me. But anyway, all right, let's see here. Let's see what we got. I don't expect much in this top section. There is a few crystals in there. That's something that's hard. A lot of this, I will not know until I wash it because that red clay does not break up very easily. Definitely crystals free crystals in that clay. Some of these are gonna be pretty nice, I can tell you that much. Like I said, I did not expect anything where I broke that off. I was just trying to get to this quartz right here. I wanted to break off this wall, and see if there was a pocket along that vein. But I open it up, and then I'm finding this stuff. Yeah, see, that's very hard. There's definitely something in there. Crystals of some sort. I mean, it's just a huge pocket. Just there. I can only imagine what kind of cluster there is going to be against this wall. Ooh, it's kind of an awkward position for my back, but it's worth it. Look at that. You see him? You see that? Look at that. Crystals there. I got crystals there. I got crystals there. This is going to be a very, very nice cluster. continue on in the interest of time but you can see just with me rubbing you can probably see all the little shinies in there that's going to be a very very nice cluster I'm excited about that one I'll put this in my pile here probably do something with that big chunk that I took out I don't know what it's kind of large to carry down I may see about breaking that matrix off right there. I don't know. We'll see. Let's uh, stick in here a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's nice. Is, that is really nice. Oh man. Oh. How does the crystal collector put it? what gee that's cool that's nice did not expect that that goes in my pile let's see what else we got here yeah oh look at this you see it you see them oh man got me a nice little pocket here oh wow look at that look at that gorgeous beautiful 
See that? See that? That's connected to something. See it? Yep. It's connected to something. Probably that back wall. See this? This right here. This is why I like the hard rock mining find these little pockets like this it's so much more fun to pull them out like this oh, look at that look at that I'm not even gonna try those are all very fine I'll check that out when I wash it this right here is why I like the hard right mining all right folks so I've got it broken back there trying to be gentle let's see what we got here oh look at that 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 oh man oh man guys this is awesome these are some amazing crystals let's get this up here a little bit there's points all in this clay like the first section right here I pulled it out right after I busted it loose because I thought it was just a rock and there was a bunch of crystals and a ball of clay just like before But, can't tell, I think that's just sandstone. But yeah, you can see them. There's a point there, huge point right here. Nice point there. All kinds of points in here. I'm just gonna leave this all the way that it is. Don't even wanna break it up. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. It goes in my pile. <sighs> Look at that. Let's see. Yeah, that's just a piece on a matrix. It's not even a full point. What about this that fell? What do we got in here? There, look at that one. I think it's a broken piece. There's points in there. I think that's a cluster coming off of this right here. Oh. Channel. Thought I broke it. May have. I believe I'll leave it the way it is for now. Wash it. What do we got in here? Let's see. This is where I was wanting to get in the first place. This wall right here, of course. You can see it. There's, it's like a whole bunch of little veins with the sandstone in between. That's where I expected to find the better crystals. But then... I started finding things like this before I even got there. That's amazing. All right, guys, so I just finished the first wash of the crystals from Crystal Vista. Uh, like I said, this is literally just the first wash, so they're still pretty dirty, but got some really, 
really nice ones. I got this. It's a twin or a triplet, kind of. It's a nice little cluster there. This is that one that I pulled out of the pocket when I first first found the pocket that kind of shocked me. I got some really beautiful crystals. A lot of these like this, I got this one, this one here. I literally just kept them because I knew they would have a nice thin layer of small stuff. There's a lot of them in here like that, like that one. And then, let's see, a lot of these, basically right in here, I mean, not all of them, but I just took the ones from the tailings pile and I piled them up right here. But then this come from the uh, pocket. And then where was it? There was one in here. Really cool. I'm gonna have to find it. There it is. That. I thought that was neat. I mean, you got, I mean, there's several really nice crystals. Nice little cluster there with one spear coming out. Whole bunch of these alluvials. Uh, A whole bunch of these little bitty points like this a whole bunch of them they're all down in there and then over here in the bigger stuff that one that one really cool I thought that one that definitely come out of the pocket and then you got this cluster here that's going to be fantastic when it's cleaned completely same with this one. Them, will be, them two will be amazing. This one is not as good as what I thought it was going to be, but still all right. This cluster is going to be fantastic when it's done being cleaned. So there you have it. I'll uh, what I'll do is I'm going to put all these in a bucket and let them soak for a day. And then wash them off again. Probably take a couple of times of washing them. And then uh, I got, I'm going to have to go to work here in about five days. So what I'll, if I don't manage to get them all washed, I will uh, get them all finished washing. I will come back on my next days off and I'll finish washing them. And I will uh, bleach them all, get them all pretty and lay them all out on the table and get a full view of all the ones that I found while I was in Arkansas on this trip. The ones from Wagner and the ones from Crystal Vista. I personally believe that I did better at Crystal Vista, but there were some fantastic ones from Wagner too. For those of you that have not watched that video, I do suggest that you go and watch it. Uh, it is like literally the day before I did these. Uh, and I really had a great time, and I really suggest you go watch it. The car will be right here, or right here, wherever it is. And uh, make sure you go check it out. And until then, make sure you subscribe and like the video, and I will see y'all next time.
so there you have it hope y'all enjoyed these videos uh make sure that y'all like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos uh leave a comment tell me what you think tell me a better place to go and uh maybe we'll be able to hit it up i plan on doing a whole lot more crystal videos a whole lot more rock hounding videos in general a few more gold videos things like that because i really enjoy doing that so y'all enjoy it make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more i'll catch y'all next time